Hi, I'm Pat, and welcome back to my garage. Today, finally, I'm coming to the end of the project that I started seven months ago. Oh, if you follow me on Instagram, link in the description below, you've seen a lot of pictures of the progress of this project. Seven months ago, I thought, I wonder why I can't actually display the engine in the BMW i8. I would take the car to Cars and Coffee and people would say, show me the engine. And I'd say, well, I can show it to you, but it's buried under these things. And when I did show it to them, they were very disappointed by the look of it. And that is because BMW designed this vehicle so that you did not see the engine. It's ugly. <laughs> so. What I decided to do was go out to the internet and see if I could find parts just like these that I can then modify and make an engine display project. So, first off, and you may have seen this in previous videos of mine, um, there's this cover here that covers up the trunk compartment. I'm going to take that out. That just snaps out of place. Next, there's a leather cover that comes off by turning these two cam locks and lifting it out of place. Next, BMW put a piece of styrofoam here as a sound deadener. We can take that out. Finally, we're left with a metal engine cover. It's this right here. This metal engine cover, all that does is prevent anything from inside the engine compartment from coming out whether it's noise or fumes or dust. It's really a thin piece of aluminum, but it does a great job of sealing this compartment from the rest of the car. So let's remove that next. We just have to take off these knurled knobs. Once the knobs are removed, we can just lift up on this panel and pull it straight back. Now this panel is a very thin piece of aluminum, but it's stamped. So what I had to figure out is, how do I make this cover something that you could see through? If you look on this side, there's a seal all the way around it. And of course, maintaining the seal was very important for my project because I wanted to seal out fumes. And on the top, well, there's all these bumps. And I needed to put something here that you could see through, but still maintain some sort of rigidity. This was a difficult part of the project. I purchased this moving blanket so that I could cover up the I-8 and protect the paint on the back of the car. So now that we have that metal cover off the top of the engine, I'm going to use my standard chair to step over the I-8, making sure that I don't give it a good kick. And now we could see what I call the sad face. <laughs> this looks like the eye has got a black eye and it's frowning. This is the ugliest engine cover I've ever seen in my entire life. So how do I make this look better? How do I improve this so that people actually look at it and go, hey, that's pretty cool? Well, I have a solution. First, let's remove this panel. All we're gonna do is pick up on this and uh, we're gonna remove that oil cap as well. So what's holding this on to the vehicle are four rubber grommets. <laughs> this one's stuck to the car. Um, they sit inside uh, little holes. So I just have to push this one back in off camera here. Um, I decided to pick another one of these up. I found this. Um, it was actually shipped in from, I believe, Europe maybe? I found this for 50 bucks. So for $50, I was able to obtain another cover. And then I went through the process 
of putting carbon fiber and resin over the top of it and sanded it and painted it and sanded it again. And now we actually have an engine cover that's worthy of being displayed. Here we can see the finished product of laying carbon fiber on top of the same piece and then multiple layers of resin and then cutting holes and if you'll notice I got rid of the frowny face here I just made it a flat hole um, but I also picked up new grommets well these came with the kit uh, with the cover and of course these grommets they, they need to be dressed up I do want to figure out a way to make a carbon fiber cover or something that goes over the top of these but this now sits on top of the engine and will look like real carbon fiber because it is real carbon fiber in here <laughs> it did take a while to make this and uh, I'll put a link in the description below with where I found the materials in case anyone is ever interested in doing something like this but I did make a few mistakes um, I, I sanded and ended up introducing some hazing multiple layers down and instead of redoing this I figured I would just keep it as is I could always redo it later if I'm not happy so just as easy as the other cover came off this one just snaps right back on into place next we're going to take off our oil cap this is the standard oil cap um, a replacement oil cap is less than 20 bucks so I found another oil cap and I covered this in carbon fiber so this is just the same oil cap covered in carbon fiber and resin and sanded and painted so we retain all of the same sealing and functionality on the bottom and it's trimmed flush but it gives it that carbon fiber look because it's now covered in carbon fiber so let's install this pretty cool so already we don't have that frown anymore and that carbon just stands out now I didn't carbon fiber cover this yet this air filter that's going to be a step that I take next I found an engine cover from an I-8 that had been totaled this metal piece cost me about I don't know 25 bucks um, Pacific Motors love them link in the description it retains the same factory seal I cut a hole in it put a frame on it put screws brazed it ordered some laminated glass from a glass supplier and use a proper procedure in order to seat that glass just like it was a windshield this thing's ready to go I can use the factory knurled knobs that came off the car um, but in two locations primarily here and here the frame would touch the side of the knurled knob so I went and picked up these little replacement guys um, it's the same thread it's the same hex on the top it just it can now be bolted into place instead of turned into place and it won't impact anything so let's put these in place on this hole I needed to elongate uh, because I was having trouble getting this in the correct position so now that I've elongated this hole on the top I'm just going to put a washer over the top of that and that's going to help provide extra sealing between the engine compartment and the car So now I can tighten down all my knurled knobs and bolts. There's no particular tightening sequence for these, but I like to alternate. Okay, all the knurled knobs and bolts are now tightened down. 
The final piece of the project is this. This has been such a difficult piece to work with. I think this gave me the biggest challenge of all. Um, this is the same as the other cover, except this came out of a salvage I-8 that was totaled and it was fabric covered. It was not leather covered, so it was likely a 2014 base model because they did that in 2014. So I removed all the fabric from it and then I carbon wrapped this and I had problems with the resin uh, delaminating from the bottom of the carbon fiber. So I tore it all off and it took me some time to realize I'm going to just go ahead and cover this with uh, a black pleather and I'm going to do it myself. Um, so with Rebecca's help, uh, we put together a plan to cover this with contact cement and then apply the pleather. Uh, on the back side are all my cuts and places where I overlapped and created all my triangles and everything. But the front looks really good. Uh, this also came with its own hardware. Now the stock unit that I just took off the car had hardware here for the flap that goes down over top of the trunk area. Uh, I have holes here for that. I also have the hardware. I'm not sure whether I'm going to put it on the car yet. I may just stick with this for now. We'll see. So this has tabs in the back. They just slide into place. Push it down and then turn the cam locks. And that's it. Wow. This is the first time I'm actually looking at this. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm very surprised it turned out the way it did. Obviously there are some things that I don't like already. I mean I could see uh, some of the metal underneath uh, the cover that's up here and I may want to you know, do something in order to remove the gap. But Wow. All right, let's take a closer look. Here we are. We can see the carbon fiber on top of the engine. We got the engine cover installed in place. How about that? I'm just going to go ahead and shut the trunk. That is so cool, you can actually just see it there now. <laughs> Anybody says, hey, I want to see the engine? No, they won't even ask. It's, it's literally sitting right there. <laughs> All right, that, that's really cool. I'm really happy with the way this turned out now. Seven months of trying to decide how to get this done. Wow. So... For the past seven months, I had to figure out how to prototype this, design it, do things I've never done before. I've never worked with carbon fiber before. I've never worked with, you know, a covering, pleather, um, contact cement. Um, yeah, glass. I've never purchased laminated glass and put it in a frame. Um, this has been a lot of work. It's been a lot of work and it's been a lot of time, it's been a lot of worry and anxiety, but I think I'm pretty happy with this. Um, we'll have to see what everybody thinks when I take it to the next Cars and Coffee. But anyway, after this video, we'll put a quick montage together. Along the way, I took some video, not a lot of video, but I took some video of the process of what I had to do at certain steps in order to make this work. So feel free to watch that, enjoy it. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Leave Thanks for watching and have a great day.